Hi y'all. I am getting ready to make another blueberry cornbread. And this is what I got. I got me some fresh blueberries that I have uh, rinsed, dried them off, sprinkled in here a little sugar and some flour. The flour I would keep it from floating to the bottom, you know, in your cornbread. And the sugar is for the sweetness because I tasted one and they're not sweet at all. Bitter. <laughs> so I sprinkled me some sugar in here and stuff. But um, I got me some buttermilk. I got me a couple of uh, self rising cornmeal. A fourth of a cup of self rising flour. A little sugar for extra if I want to put it in. An egg. And my cast iron skillet here that's greased. But I'm getting ready to put it in the oven so my pan will be nice and hot. And my pan with my spoon with my chopsticks because I when I add everything up to a batter, I'm not going to, um, what's the word I'm trying to say? I'm not going to stir the blueberries in. I'm going to fold them in there because I don't want the whole uh, cornbread to be blue or purple. So you fold it in, not stir it in, fold. So I'll be back and show you guys, okay? So I have in here the cornmeal and the flour and the egg. Now I'm getting ready to add the buttermilk. And you guys know what a batter is supposed to look like, so you make it like a batter. You don't want it too wet or watery, and you don't want it dry. Alright, so I'll be back. Okay, you see guys, this is a batter right here. Perfect. So now I'm getting ready to add the blueberries. And I might not, I don't think I'm going to use them all because I'm not making a big one. But, you know, for you, if you want to do a big one, just double everything. Okay? So again, this is my batter right here. Now I can just bake this here like this here and just have me a good old old fashioned country cornbread right here. So I'll be back, okay? Now when I say fold, I mean like fold them in. Don't stir them in, just fold them in. Y'all, and I'm working with one hand, so. But anyway, you fold them in, you don't stir, you fold. That way your cornbread ain't turning, like I said, purple or blue. But I think I am going to use all the rest of them. Okay, so they're folded in now. So you see guys, there it is. I folded them in. And my bread isn't the color of the blueberries. Alright, so now I'm getting ready to put it in my cast iron. And I'll be back. Now my skillet is nice and hot, so I took up a little of the oil and just added it in here. So I'm going to fold that in now, all the way through. <laughs> now I'm going to add it in my cast iron. So there it is, guys. Now I'm getting ready to bake it. 350. But you can use, well, some people do 375 for cornbread. I, I just like my 350 heat. Okay? And I'm just going to bake it till it's golden brown. So I'm going to time it and I'll let you guys know how long it took. Okay? So I'll be back. So guys, I'm making a meatloaf to go with it. My cornbread, my blueberry cornbread, mashed potatoes. I'm doing gravy. I'm not doing the ketchup on top. I'm doing the brown gravy. But anyway, I'm getting ready to pulse these. These are my vegetables. I got in here onion, little garlic, green pepper, red pepper, yellow, orange. And you know what I had? I had like a few pieces of uh, mushrooms left. 
So I just threw them in. You know what? I said, you know what? Go for it. Because you're not even going to be able to taste the mushrooms in there anyway. And this is what I'm using to season it with. Just a little pink salt. Because you know, pink salt, a little goes a long way. Like Morton's, you have to use like a lot for flavor. All you need in the pink salt is just a little bit. So thank God. <laughs> and I'm using my Ritz here because I had a pack open. And I didn't want to open up the regular crackers for this. So I'm using um, these. And I got me two bouillon, beef bouillons that I'm putting in there also. Okay. So yes, this is what I'm using. For my meatloaf. So you guys see I've added the ketchup. I've added the Ritz crackers. My vegetables. And my egg. So. You see. Yeah. Can't even hardly. You're not even going to be able to see or taste the mushrooms in there. That I put in there. But anyway let me stir it. And put it in my pan. Just wait for my cornbread to get done. Alrighty. So I'll be back, guys. So, here's my meatloaf, guys. And I'm going to cook it in here. And when I bake it in these tight pans here, I always cook it in a water bath. Because I don't want my pan to crack or break or something. And I've heard so many stories about people saying the pan had cracked on them or broke in the oven. That's why I always you put on my tight pans here in a water bath. All right, so I'll be back and show you guys what I'm talking about. See, so guys, just like this. Now I'm not going to put no ketchup on top because I'm going to make a gravy with ours. Cause we're having mashed potatoes, so I don't want ketchup and mashed potatoes. But it's not a bad combination, is it? But I like gravy. So, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to put no ketchup on top. But I am going to cover the top with aluminum foil. Okay? And again, that's my water bath. It's just cold water with a cold pan going into a hot oven. Just like that. So while my cornbread is getting done, y'all, I had to invest in me a new blender because my other one went on me. But I'm loving this one because it is an eight cup. And this is where them good smoothies come from that this boy always making right here. But this sucker is huge. <laughs> you see? Yes, I said all oh, my other blender went on me and I loved it that thing, but I'm in love with this one too now. Okay, so yes, an eight. Yes, an eight cup. So I just finished cleaning it up, getting ready to put it back. And just wait for my meatloaf and my cornbread so I can show you guys. Alrighty. So, guys, here is my blueberry cornbread. Y'all see them blueberries on top? Hmm. I can't cut it right now. It's too hot. I just took it out of the oven. But here it is. See how golden brown those edges are? Hmm. All right, guys. I think I am out. And I will chat with you guys later. Alrighty, it's going to be a while before the meatloaf is done, so I just want to show you guys, because I know a lot of you guys have been asking, how do I do this cornbread? So here it is, right here. And guys, and the key is this cast iron here. That's the key right there. I didn't mean to take this video so long, but at least... It's not a boring video because I wasn't, you know, doing this and doing that with y'all watching the food while I'm over here doing something else. So anyway, that's my blueberry cornbread, guys. 
All right. So I'll check with y'all later. Bye. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. I had to come back and let you guys know how long I cooked it for. I let it cook for 40 minutes on 350. Okay? And I am going to cut it and let you guys see the inside. All right? But I just want it to cool off some. So I'll be back. Now see how that butter is melting? Disappearing on that bread. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm getting ready to get it cooled off. Mm -hmm. I think it cooled off enough now for me to mess with it. All right. So I took it out the pan, guys. I tried to flip it over. That shit was hot. Look at them blueberries. You see? You know what? I was reading somewhere where somewhere in this U.S. of A. There's a cornbread festival every year. And they have all types of different kinds of corn uh, bread, uh, fruit corn bread at that, strawberry. I said, I don't, I don't know about all of that, but I do, I know I like blueberries. So let me cut it and I'll show you guys, okay? So here it goes. And this time, guys, I put more blueberries in it. And when I tasted it, oh my goodness. Look at that smoking. Hmm. Let me see if I can show you guys what underneath look like. And you see how they stayed all almost on top? Even though some did hit the bottom, but that's okay. But it's all together. Look. Alright. Let me show you guys the bottom if it don't, because it's still hot. Okay, it didn't it didn't break apart. So here is the bottom of it, y'all. <laughs> now, all right. Now I am really out this time. All right. Bye.